Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we'll see certain uh, shortcut commands, which you already seen, but I've written it in a kind of a table. Okay. Yeah. So let us consider, uh, see, I told you how to add a column, right? For example, I'll write something here. And I told you, if I want to add a column below, before this, I'll just click on this and I'll say control and plus a column will be inserted. Now let us say I want to delete a column. Okay. So I spoke only about the column. Let me explain you about the roles. Okay. So let us think, I think uh, I'll take one more sheet here. Yeah. I'll go with this. Now let us say I have given this uh, Excel sheet. Now let us say there's one student, Abhishek Kumar. I'll just underline this. I'll teach you all these things later. Okay. There's one student, Abhishek Kumar. And next to the student is Akash Yadav. But I want to add one more student. Let us say I'll, I want to add my name in between that. So how shall I do that? So that means I need to insert one row. So far we were inserting the column, but now I want to insert the row. So what I'll do after, before Akash Yadav, I want to add my name, right? So I'll just select this portion. You can see I've selected this row. Now I'll say control and plus. So can you see one more row has been added? Now I'll write my name. That is A-K-S-H-A-Y Akshay Kamath. Got it, right? So in this way, you can try to add the row. So in the previous lecture, I explained you how to add the column. So in this lecture, we are saying how to add a row. So in this way, if any of the row is missing, so you can try to do that. Here, I'll explain you one more thing also. Now, let us say this one student, Keshav Prasad and Kuldeep Singh. In between this, I need to add three names. Let us say I want to add my name also, not mine. I'll take a different name this time. I'll take a name. Okay, you can take any name. I'll take a name, Ram, Sham and Pratik. Okay, fine. Pratik. Yeah, I'll go with this. Fine. So I've taken these three. These are my friends. So I want to add three of my friends name in between uh, Keshav Adam and Kuldeep. So in that case, you go to the Kuldeep, this option, and you click control plus three times. So three rows will be added like one. Then again, control and plus two times, control and plus three times. So you can see that, right? So three times I've added. Now what I'll do, I'll just select. Okay, I'll write it only. So you just write there. Okay, Gautam. Next, we have uh, Sham and then we have Pratik. Got it, right? So in this way, you can do the same thing for the row. Uh, and also the same thing can be done even for the column also. So in the column also, if you add want to add something like that, you can come here and say control plus, plus, plus. So three times your co row, uh, columns will be added. Pretty simple. So this command you need to understand. That is control plus. Now let us say I want to delete one. I, for example, you see this I command. I want to delete this. So what I do, I'll write. I'll do one thing. Yeah. So whatever total I've written, I want to delete this. So how do I delete this? So select on this and say control and minus. So I'll do it once again. What you're supposed to do, I'll say control Z. If I want to get the option back, whatever I've done, I'll say control Z. It will come back. Let us say I want to delete this particular column. So you can keep your mouse here and say control minus. So it will get deleted. Otherwise, you can keep it here. Do a right click. Keep your mouse here on this particular column. Everything will be selected. Right click and this option here, delete. So you can delete that also. So best option is always go with a shortcut command that is control minus. So in the same in the same way, let us say I want to delete this Gautam, Sham and Pratik. All three things I don't require. So I'll select all the three. I'll say control minus. All the three got deleted. Got it, right? Similarly, I want to delete this Sagar Singh. I'll select here and I'll say control minus. So it will get deleted. So in this way, you can try to add, you can try to delete the rows, the columns, and these are the few shortcut commands which you should be knowing. Yeah. So let me go with uh, some other shortcut commands again. Yeah. Right. So insert column, delete column, insert row, delete row is done. Okay, then we understood about the bold, italic and underline that is control U, control B and control I. With the help of this shortcut command, you can make any wordings like you can make this as bold and something like that. Okay, fine. So most of the things I've covered here. Now let us go with the other commands. That is this particular command that is a fill command. So let us say I want to, you know, yeah, make a sheet something like this. See, you can see here I've, read, I've done one more sheet here where I've given the color here. You can see the serial number, contractor, railway project, building project, road project, and water project. So I'm going to write something like this. Then I want to give a color to this. How shall I do that? So let us say 
I'll go with this. Okay. Uh, let me write something here. Or anyhow, I'll do it here only. Anyhow, I've done it. I'll just yeah. I'll just select this. Control C. Control C. Let me try to paste it here. Control V. Okay. Anyhow, it's not required. Okay. I'll just write it here. Okay. I'll say serial number. Okay. Then I'll write project one. I'll say project one. Then I'll say project two. I'll say project three. Okay. Enough. So let us say, then I'll select this. You can see one option here. So this option is fill color. So click on that. Whichever color you want to fill. Suppose if I want to fill this color, I'll fill this color. Okay. Suppose if you want to change the color, again you have to select it like this. Come here. Change a different color to this. So whenever you are creating an excel sheet and you want to give a heading in that case what we do is we try to make use of this fill option for example see here here i made use of the fill option or i'll show you one more excel sheet something here yeah so we'll go with this so what i'll do is i'll select this part i'll give a color to this so i selected in this way select it this one this is this option go and you can select whichever thing okay so okay, okay i'll go with this so you can select and you can give a color to that so that what will happen uh, excel sheet excel sheet will look more better and elegant so this is how you can try to do or let us say you want to underline some student for example let us say uh, you want to underline a student uh, where it is written fw okay so i'll just select on this student in this way then there is one more student fw i'll select on this then again uh, check if there is oh, there is one more student here sonu kumar yadav fw i'm just differentiating them so there's one more student vishal sharma fw i'll select that and then, yeah, I think everyone is done. Okay. Now I'll go and give a color to that. So you can come here, whichever color you want, you can give. For example, I'll go with this yellow color. So what will happen by doing such thing, you are able to understand, okay, these people are something different from the other students. Like Anubhav Singh, FW, Harsh Shukla, FW, then Sonu Kumar Yadav, FW, Vishal Sharma, FW. So I've given a different color just in order to differentiate this student from the above students what I have. So this is where you can try to make use of this fill command and you can differentiate that. So practically when we do any Excel sheet, we try to use such commands and we do our Excel sheets. Okay, great. So I think this command is also covered. Now we'll go to the last another command. So the next command what we have is a color. For example, you can see all the colors here. Okay, so I'll see now for example, you want to remove this. You don't, you don't want this Anubhav thing uh, to get a, a yellow color. In that case, what you do, you select this guy. Select this cell. Come back here. There's one option called as no fill. You have to go to the no fill. Only then whatever color you are selected, no, that will become white. Otherwise, you can even put the white color also. Like you select this guy. You come here. Instead of going for no fill, even if you put white color, also, it is okay. Doesn't matter. That also can be done. I'll select like, like this. Now again, you don't have to go and say, select here. See, once you have selected any command, Again, if you directly click on this, no, it will take white color. The one color which you used previously, it will by default take that color. For example, I want this to be white. So in, rather than clicking and making it white, what you do, you just click here, here itself, it will become white. Okay, that is how it is. Fine. So let me change. See, what I'll do, whatever marks I can, I can see, no, I'll give a different color to the marks. Let the student name and roll number be black in color. But all the students, what I have, I'll give a different color to this. So what I'll do, I'll select everyone like this. So selected all the students. And you can see this option here, right? Click here and make red color. Or whichever color you want. Or you can go with green color, black, blue, whichever color. Or you can go with this color. So I'll select this color, purple. So now you can see the differentiation. Everything I've made it black. Wherever the marks are coming, I've give, I given a purple color to that. So in this way, you can try to play with the color and you can prepare a beautiful Excel sheets. So let me show you one Excel sheet what I created. Yeah, so you can see Excel sheet where I've created, no? See, uh, this is a name, uh, this is a description what I've given and I've given a color to that. So in this way, this is one of a rate analysis Excel sheet which we use for the estimation. So you can see here, I've given a color, color fill. With the help of the color fill, I've given that color. If you want, I'll change the color. I'll go with this color if you want. Okay. Yeah. Then whatever thing I've written, I've given red color to that. If you don't want red color, go with a different color. 
I'll go with the black color if you want. So I given a black color, and wherever I want to differentiate that, no, I given a different color to that. So in this way, you can try to prepare your own Excel sheets. So you can see how I prepared all this Excel. So this is application of the uh, commands what I have thought. So this fill command you can use it here. You can change the size. For example, if I want to make this color in a different rather than black, let me keep that in a blue color. So I can make it in a blue color. So these are the applications of your commands on the live projects. Okay. So try to uh, do all these things. You can write something or I'll be attaching one or two Excel sheet. This Excel sheet I'll be at attaching the CT lab. So try to, you know, play with this and you can explore all these commands. So I'll give a different color. Let me go with the uh, blue color. Okay. But whenever you do a color combination, make sure it will look attractive. Now you see, this is not looking so much good, right? So then I can come here, try to play. You just keep here. It will keep on changing. You don't have to select and check. You just come here, select, keep on this color. It will automatically reflect there. So if it's not looking good, you go for a different color. So this is also not looking. Okay. This is somewhat looking good. This is somewhat looking good. So click on that. So this color will automatically uh, come here. Got it. So this was about the other commands. What I had uh, about the fill option and how you can uh, change the color of the uh, text. What you have. Suppose if you're not satisfied with this color, go to the option called as more color. And if from here you can drag, you can see whatever I'm selecting, it is popping up here. Okay. Suppose if I want in the yellow color, whichever color you want, you come here and just custom also you can do. These are the standard colors. If you're not satisfied with this color, come to the custom part. So here you select which color you want. Suppose if I want red color. So in the red color, how it should be, whether it should be dark or whether it should be light, whichever color. Let us see if I take yellow, whether it should be light or whether it should be dark, whatever you can try to play with this. But usually we don't do all these things. Just I'm giving an idea. And then you can, uh, you know, mix it like red, green, blue. But there is no practical application of this. We usually don't try to, we are not doing any animation or something like that on the Excel sheet. So these things are not practical use. But again, since it is there, I'm trying to give an idea how it is done and say, okay. So, okay, maybe for here, I'll go here. More colors. I'll go with the custom. Let me go with this color and say, okay. You can see the color has changed. But usually, like I mentioned, it is only for, uh, I mean, it is only there, but practically whatever colors are shown here, that is sufficient for us. We are not making a painting or something like that. We just have to make our sheets look good. That's it. And too much of colors also, we should not use it. Okay. So that your Excel sheet will look good. Fine. So this was more about this particular command. And uh, so in the next lecture, I'll go with the alignment command, like how to make use of this alignment command, how to make use of this, all this command. We'll try to see that in the next lecture. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.